This is Brian Culver Rubius. In this video, we're going to show how to add students and guardians to your Google Classroom. To begin, we're going to start by going into one of your classes. The first thing I'm going to show you is under your title, you're going to have your class code. The class code is a string of letters and numbers that students can enter into their classroom to have them join your class. Next to the class code, you're going to find a display icon. If you click that display icon, Google Classroom will show a much larger version of the class code to your students. This is great if you have students that are sitting in your class and are trying to enroll themselves in your Google Classroom. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll find an icon that will make this full screen. That way even the kids in the back can see. From the student side, they can go to Google Classroom, click the plus icon, and then click join class. From this screen, they can enter in the class code that they see on your screen. Another way to invite students is to use the invite link. The invite link is a web address that you can share with students via email, and then they can join Google Classroom directly. Let's have a look at the settings for invites. Click on the gear icon, then scroll down to the general section, and then look for invite codes. The first setting is Manage Invite Codes. This option will allow you to enable or disable invite codes for your classroom. While invite codes are disabled, students will not be able to use them to join your class. You can also change your invite code by resetting it. This is handy if you have a code that somehow got on the internet and some kids are joining in your class that you didn't want them to, or if you have an invite class code that is difficult to read. If your code has L's or I's or zeros or O's, that could be difficult for your students to discern by reading it on your board. You could change it so you have something a little bit easier for them to type in. From the settings screen, you can also click this icon to copy the invite link to your clipboard. We also have the display class code feature, which will show your code much larger on the screen, very similar to what we had on the prior screen. Now we're going to leave the settings and go back to the main classroom page. Near the top navigation, we're going to click on the People tab. In the Student section of the People tab, you'll find an icon to add a student. From this window, we have the invite link that we can copy to our clipboard, or we can start typing in the name or email address of a student. From here, we can search for them, click their name to add them to the class, and then click Invite to continue. Now the student will get an email telling them that they are invited to your class. On the student side, they will see that they have been invited to join your class. They will not be automatically entered into your class, but instead given the option to join. Students will appear as invited into your Google Classroom until they've clicked on Accept. Once they've accepted your invitation, they will appear as students in your class. Then you'll have the option to invite guardians for your students. A guardian will have the option to receive either daily or weekly email updates letting them know how their students are doing in your class. It does not show grades and does not show comments or messages between students and teachers, but it does give them an overview of what assignments are missing. To invite a guardian, click the Invite Guardian link next to the student's name. From this screen, enter in the email address of the guardian and then click the Invite button. The guardian will receive an email where they can accept the invitation after which they can select the frequency in which they want to receive the emails. The options are daily, weekly, or they can choose to opt out of the summaries entirely. After a guardian has been added, you are able to add additional guardians to this student. Of course, you're also able to remove a guardian. One thing to understand is that when you make a change to a guardian for a student in Google Classroom, it doesn't just affect your Google Classroom, it affects the student. So if you add a guardian to a student, any Google Classroom that that student is a part of will now have a guardian attached to it. It also works in reverse. So if you remove a guardian from a student, it removes it from all of the classrooms. There is one thing under settings you need to know about in order to enable guardian summaries. Go to the settings page, then scroll down to the guardian summaries option. Enable this option to include this Google Classroom with the guardian summaries. You can use this feature to disable summaries for particular Google Classrooms if you don't want them included with the Guardian Summaries. You'll note that it will give you the option to enable Guardian Summaries for the rest of your Google Classrooms. That's everything there is to know about adding students and Guardians to Google Classroom. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Let me know if I can help.